So today we're gonna be working on the Integra. It's not just a little mod. This is something that we've been waiting for for a long time. And I think it will change the car's personality just a little bit. So let me just grab this big box to my right. And I'll show you guys what I got. So you guys can see right here, open the box upside down. We picked up something from Gretti. I don't think the Skunk 2 exhaust was the look that we were trying to go for. We were trying to go for that oval muffler look like what I have going on for the FD2. So guys, I went with the Gretti 3 inch SP Supreme cap back. This thing is really stout of a design. You guys take a look at the, even the flanges. I mean, the Gretti, they had the Gretti logo on them. So I believe this is a, it goes from a two and a half inch from the cat and then it slowly goes back to a three inch. So this gives it a true three inch cap back while still being a bolt on to your original exhaust system. And I just think this oval style right here on the muffler fits the Integra look very well. So just picture this look right here underneath that exhaust. God damn, that's gonna look good. Also, take a look at these welds though. They may be a little too bright. You see that burning? Ooh. I'm pretty sure this is a machine welded on the edges, but that's kind of to be expected for a mass produced exhaust. And the tip, the most important test for the exhaust tip, is festival. All right, so the new Gretti cap back comes with this free license plate frame and it comes with all this hardware right here. So you don't need to reuse the OEM one. Also it comes with a pretty nice Gretti sticker as well as gaskets. Oh shit, it's crawling underneath the fucking type R. Uh, will I fit? Uh, kinda? Dude, it's so tight under here. Oh. Mm. So I think <laughs> I think this is the first time me and Jake are laying on the floor. We've never actually installed an exhaust before. Dude, this shit is a real pain without a freaking lift. Dude, actually, surprisingly, this is pretty easy. Maybe because the exhaust isn't that old. Look at this crust though. We gotta do a detail. Yeah, I don't think this exhaust has been on here for that long. You sure you are? <laughs> you got it, dude. What up, dogs? What up, homie? All right, guys, so you know, I'm taking a nap right now, but I got the left side out. Uh, I might need your help, bro. God damn. Old, new. Which one do you think is gonna be louder? I personally think that this Skunk 2 was louder than the Gretti, mainly because there's a fat ass exhaust leak from us putting that test pipe on just to see if it's the cat issue. So now onto the cat back portion. Yep. So Jacob's gonna be doing the rest of the work and I'm just gonna chill. So <laughs> yeah, bro's doing the butter, bro's doing the butterfly strokes, dude. Okay. Soft. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, step, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, this isn't as bad as we thought. So the exhaust was pretty easy to take out. This is it right here. And I think that what the previous owner did was delete the resonator because look at this weld right here. And that might be the reason why we have an exhaust leak. So hopefully this factory Gretti SP exhaust can just line up directly onto the test pipe and everything should be good. Also, if you guys just take a look at the hanger design on the Skunk 2 versus the Gretti, you notice that there's no lip at the end to hold the hanger. They do a little slope down to prevent the hanger from backing up. But the Gretti has a very clean design where it's just straight and it has a little nipple right here. So the hangers cannot back up. I think that's a very clean way to do it. When we're installing it, we're not gonna be tightening any of the bolts until we get the alignment perfect. Because when you tighten the exhaust section by section, it's gonna tweak the exhaust a little bit. We're gonna put everything on loosely, test fit everything, and then once it's good, the way we like it, we're gonna start tightening. Superman's gonna go underneath the car now. Okay. Aye, so it looks like this thing isn't working. Okay, so Andrew, the king of geniuses over here, I thought I thought this was a, t a GSR exhaust because this car's a GSR. It's not what it seems. 
Oh, fuck you. <laughs> so it's a GSR, right? He buys a Type R exhaust. Obviously, there's gonna be some differences and I think I, in my head I'm just thinking I'm going along with this guy I think it's a GSR exhaust all along, but the cat on the type R is a different length Than the GSR pretty much kind of like the same as FD2 and FA5 the cats are different But then the FD2 has different hanger placements so uh, Long story short our cat is too short to reach the resonated part so the piping does not line up because there's gonna be a gap again because the cat is too short so we got to go to Yang's muffler shop later not today but tomorrow they're gonna be cutting up my test pipe putting in this new cat and then yeah they're gonna basically install the exhaust for us I guess so Andrew's gonna take it to Yang's muffler shop for his little custom fab but uh, you'll see what happens when I get my exhaust custom fad let me just let me just give you a hint right now SEMA SEMA it's gonna be SEMA quality so we have to put back on the skunk 2 exhaust which is oh my god so we'll see you guys tomorrow at Yang's Buffalo Shop see you guys tomorrow So we're here at Yang's muffler shop getting the new exhaust installed and we also had to get the new catalytic converter on so I don't think we're gonna have that test pipe anymore and hopefully this all gets resolved today and then we'll hang out with the homie Bill in just a second. Damn. So this is the oval style muffler that we were talking about in comparison to the fart cannon. It's more mature and it's significantly larger. This Skunk 2 is two and a half, that's three inches. That's really two and a half? Yeah, look how tiny the piping is there. Versus my new Gretty. The Gretty is three inch, two, three inch. Shit. This person's like, ah oh, shit. Gotta help out the fucking homies. Hey, look at this little awesome. Easter egg. Feels so baller, he's got his own name on his license plate. This kid just wasted our whole day yesterday. Messing around, he just wanted to take off an exhaust for fun. Guys, the exhaust is finally installed and now we're gonna do the final step which is to wipe down the whole exhaust system with some alcohol. Otherwise, your fingerprints that you touched all over the exhaust is gonna be embedded into it. So, let's go. It sounds so good. Holy crap, this is why you got paid premium pricing for good shit. Oh my god, dude. It sounds good. It sounds so fucking good. This is the happiest I've ever been leaving out of Yang's muffler shop. Nah, no more, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> what did we do? What the? What the fuck do we do? <laughs> we clowns. <laughs> Dude, the alarm going. <laughs> got him. Hey, 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 got him, bro. Got him. Fuck, dude. This is with an OEM cat too, so. Damn. It sounds good. It sounds good. Alright, guys. So this is the first time we're doing a poll, just because we're like right outside my house, literally. Uh, as soon as I hit this corner, I'm gonna do it. Did, did you hear those backfires? This guy racing, bro. Ah, shit. What a shit. It's definitely slower uh, with the cat on. But hey. Sometimes slow is 
good. Looks like I'm driving the Integra. I'm granting this guy, I'm granting this guy a long time freaking thing on his wish list, which is to drive my car. Cause you know, Jacob hasn't been driving stick in a minute. Cause this bride doesn't have a car. Man, I, I don't need to drive this car, bro. Yeah. Just, just wait till the real Type R comes back in town. A real Type R, he said. Ooh. Goddamn, that sounds so goddamn good. So we made it to the homie's house. Bill Lamb got the food. This is our first time trying this out. Never had it before, but hopefully it meets our expectations. And I got a brick for my lunch today. Shit looks good, huh? Dude, this shit looks solid ass brick. Vibing right now. Mm hmm Why? <clears throat> Choking on a fucking... Are, are you guys about to be done or something? Yeah. And dumbass Jacob got a whole ass fucking bird. Look at that shit, bro. From the sky. That, that, that's pretty primitive, if you ask me. Honestly, this chicken, it, it just tastes like a regular Safeway rotisserie chicken, bro. Yeah, no, this place is overrated as fuck. This shit straight up tastes like it's been refrigerated for a couple days. So, uh, I kind of forgot to pick up the camera after I was done eating, but... Anyways, we ended up going out to record some sound clips for the Integra. Uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy. It sounds good. Is that how loud? It's pretty. It's pretty loud. There, there actually was a little bit of smoke that Bill mentioned it. Now that he mentioned it. I see that. Oh shit! Don't you just love fucking tin cans, goddamn it? I honestly can't see anything. You hear that? Wait, what was that? I don't fucking know. But I was on the brakes pretty hard. Maybe the smell of brakes. Smell of a few. This car. God, something really smells so bad. Bill, can I get a sip of the boba? You just have it. Why? Okay, if you're gonna sip off it, you can have it. No, then I want you to have it. Thank you, baby. Shut the fuck up, bruh. Alright, guys, so, you know, every time we freaking film this piece of shit tin can, something always be breaking. And now we'll be hearing some funny ass noise on the brake rotor over there, like some water or something's touching it. What do you guys think of the exhaust? You know, the exhaust actually sounds pretty good. I like it. With this, despite it having a cat, it sounds pretty good. Honestly, I just, I thought it was gonna sound really bad or like muffled. This car has a resonator and a cat. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well just do the same thing too. Bite it right here. So I didn't really like the outro that I filmed in Mexico. Shout out to all my car guys. You guys know where that is. <laughs> so here's a little appreciation post of my homie, Bill Lamb. You know, if you're not doing gay shit with your homies, then you, are you really homies though? Shout out to Randy Trong from Eliminate. He knows what's up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy those exhaust clips, please like the video. And 70% of you guys are not subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. I swear to God, if you guys don't hit that subscribe button, do you guys not like me or something? Do you hate me? Why are you watching this video? Just subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to share with your homies. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.